Like, can you see the green is giving like Nigerian flag? I don't even like to too much. from the end I've had quite a day today. What the? right now? I'm going to be making spaghetti bolognese with some meatballs. Really, I used to make bolognese just before, and then I said to spice it up with meatballs now because it's just more interesting. It tastes better when you have like meatballs because then it feels like meat with your bolognese, and then oh. Anyway, let's get into it. It's going to be pretty straightforward. So firstly, I'm going to boil my pasta. So while I boil my pasta, I'm also going to fry my um, part of the minced meat because i get minced meat i get it from spa they're really good spa or ny if you're new here then you'll know this if you're old here you know i'm like a sucker for spa or ny supermarket when it comes to proteins i feel like they're the best i never have a problem with my proteins when i shop from there in lagos nigeria so i'm gonna put my pasta on fire real quick let's go this is my minced meat i already like had it defrozen so while the water is getting hot this is how i always know if whatever i'm cooking is hot i just Put my hand on top of it is that weird i don't know so i make sure the oil goes around i think this is even too much oil the minced meat mm. 
So see the small quantity I left for the meatballs. This is actually a lot because my meatballs are usually small. So let me just reduce it just so I don't end up stressing myself. The one is a bit much, sure. Yeah. Not gonna lie, but it's fine. So your meatballs take a lot of seasoning. So don't like over season it. Do you get like so you know your meatballs, your meat meat. So don't put too much. Then I'm gonna go in with this again. I won't actually add black pepper in my mind because it's just too much. Then a little bit of the paisley flakes and I'll just, I think my, I'll just stir it a bit. So the point is to keep turning it, the point is to keep turning it so it's a bit like golden brown. I'll leave this here while I put my pasta on fire. I put my pasta in there. You know, you should know this. I don't eat too much, so I don't like to cook. I don't even like to cook too much. I can cook for just one meal and I'll be fine. Like, I don't like to cook too much. So I'll just put, like, I don't break my pasta. Do you break your pasta? Let me know down in the comments. My assistant is giving me one eye. Do you break your pasta? Ew. Then just cook eat macaroni or another type of pasta. Do you guys break your spaghetti? I really need to know. I don't break it at all. The juice of the meat that is coming out is so nice. Trust me, this makes your meal so much nicer. So while the the spaghetti is in, I always add salt. I know the salt seems like it's a lot, but it's a sufficient amount. And then I also add oil. This is what separates the spaghetti. So the secret to the mincemeat is you have to break it when it's on fire because it's like clumped together and when it fries it starts to kind of like separate but in like clicks in big clicks so you kind of have to like break it do you get so your it depends on how you want it sure but you just kind of like break it in a bit so it's not too like big big do you get so the mincemeat can spread around the sauce anyway let's get into my favorite part which is making the meatballs ah! let's go so I don't add too much egg because the egg makes it like soft. So this is my breadcrumbs. Yeah, that's a bit too much it seems, but it's actually the right amount because this is what brings the meatballs together. Then you don't want to put too much because your meat actually takes in so much like salt already just like adding some more salt in plantain doesn't really make sense i told you guys this is like my favorite ingredient right now this is black pepper so i'm always putting it let me just add a pinch of black pepper just small just small i can actually add red black pepper right now but that's not really my vibe then of course i'll add a bit of paisley okay so here you go just mix it so here's the part I like my meatballs to be like small, which is even too big. I like it to be quite small. Pasta is boiling nicely. Oh shit, I was gonna add cheese, but I'll add cheese in the sauce itself. Putting this on fire, it's like frying puff puff. If you know how to fry puff puff, I said if you know how to fry, if you know how to fry puff puff. Oh, mom, the way I'm frying this with <laughs> ah, Jesus, it doesn't also have to be high heat, not low heat, but like medium. So, what you don't want is for the outside to like be brown and the inside is undone. So, now I'll be turning them. See, some sides are already like light brown, and I'll just be turning it gradually. It cooks quite fast, which is a great thing. But don't be deceived. These balls can be very deceiving. Like I said, the outside could be done, but the inside could still be undone. So, gotta look out for that. 
Then let us go straight to the Bolognese. No time wasted. No time to waste. This is great. Oh, oh I forgot to. Because I forgot to fry onion with the meatballs. Look at me. I thought the oil would be hot. Why is it? Why are you not hot? Huh? You know this heat. Ciao. Let the onion just simmer for a bit. I like when my onion kind of changes color to be like a little bit transparent. That's how you know that the onion has really fried. I will. I will. I will go. <laughs> I'm going back on with my favorite ingredient. See Bolognese as making stew. Literally, it's the same process. You start with tomato. You like using this tomato paste. So this is, I don't know what brand, whatever brand, honestly. But you're going with this tomato paste before you pour in your tomato in the jar, your tomato puree. So usually I get the Bolognese polat, um, tomato, but I forgot to buy it. So the Bolognese actually has its own distinctive, like you see Bolognese pasta sauce. But I forgot to buy it, so I'm just gonna do use a regular tomato pasta sauce in my fridge. Fine right now, should I beg you? I'm just gonna put in a bit of this. So I'm going in with this pasta sauce that I had in my fridge. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna pour everything in because it's not that much. This is not that much. I should have actually added more of the tomato pasta. Oh, it's definitely not much at all. But I'm gonna add water and just like shake it in. If you're Nigerian, if you're African, you know. You know that this is the way. So I'll just stir this up. Then now I'm gonna start adding my ingredients. This is the very important part. Obviously, I'm gonna go in my black pepper. So then I'm going in with my garlic, my ginger, just whatever feels good to you. Just throw it, like I said, it's like making stew. And of course my Maggi cubes or my seasoning cubes because Maggi is an actual brand. I don't know why Nigerians, we just all call it Maggi like, it's just Maggi. Yeah, we don't care. So with this, I just actually put two and in each one there are like two. So I'm putting two of each one, that makes it four. So then this part is actually optional, but I love to toss in bay leaves. So I just feel like it's just a nice like ingredient. Not too much, just one more. Bay leaf is really nice for your jello fries, for your stews, so why not? Then I'll pour in the water from this. I don't want it to be too watery. Then I'll go in with my minced meat, the one I already fried earlier. Just pour that in. With all the juice, all the juice. At this point, if you have cheese, pour it. Usually, I use red wine, but I run out of red wine. Which I actually have red wine. <laughs> I have red wine. I just remembered. I keep shit like this. So, I had... <sighs> so I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that. I think I want to add a little bit of the tomato liquid. So I'm gonna toss in this. Oh, by the way, did I tell you guys that the pasta, the spaghetti, I already took it off the gas and like drained it of the water? Okay, just keep it in mind, sure. So like I said, oh, I forgot to add carrots. Uh, so I'm just going to add the remaining carrots from the coleslaw. Let's just leave it to boil. I don't like to cover it. At this point, you don't want to cover it because when you cover your food, it actually like makes up more moisture. Do you get what I mean? So it becomes more watery, especially like when you're making soup or whatever. So... I like to keep it open so that way like the water dries out. Is it actually quite thicker than I wanted it to be but it's fine. So I want to add a bit of pepper. Hey, whoa, see what I poured out. I want to add a bit of pepper. Hey. Hey. Oh, I scattered my food. Hopefully, add to the beauty. Well, okay, so I got this mozzarella cheese for pasta. It's so yum when you put cheese on your pasta. So I just sprinkled some mozzarella. Oh my god, look. 
I mean, it was expensive, so of course it has to look good. Fuck. Hey, but I still take tea. All right, so that's literally it. I chopped up some spring onions. Give it a little. Then it's a quoi. It was looking a bit dry. Yeah, just like, can you see the green is giving like Nigerian flag. Time to eat. <laughs> if you know me, you know how much I actually absolutely love pasta. Like pasta is one of my favorite dishes. If you're on my Snapchat, you will know this by now. Francis is always making pasta. Mm. The spaghetti tastes so healthy. Like it tastes so healthy. Like you know when you're eating food that's just like ah, ah. It's giving me ah ah. Wow. I just tried the meatballs. It's so good. Yo. And so we've come to the end of the video. Okay, so today I made chicken wrap, I made coconut fried rice, the barbecue chicken and coleslaw, and now some spaghetti bolognese with meatballs. I'm so excited, like, I feel accomplished. Like, even though I had work to do, I was able to still get this done. I'm so happy. Honestly, like, when I did the first World Do I Eat In A Day video, everyone was like, oh my God, we need the second one, you know, that kind of thing. But I was like, I'm not really like a cooking person. I cook a lot, but I'm not like a cooking person online. Okay, wait, I am. Because if you follow my social media, you know I cook a lot. So I am. But when it comes to making the videos, I feel like it kind of slows me down. But, like, I'm like, why not? And I'm just happy that my team and I were meant to get this done. Like, we were able to get this video done. It was so great. We used this horizontal tripod from Influencer Smart. Okay, it's not really showing, but here. So we used it for the close shots of the food and everything. So it was really helpful. So we didn't have to be, like holding a lot tripods everywhere everyone is good lights everywhere i'm so happy and i'm so glad that all the food turned out so great um you know you guys should try the recipe and let me know i feel like my last video people did try the recipe and people did tell me they tried it and they loved it so try this one as well if you're my snap you know i put out like a question and i ask everybody what do you want me to make and literally every single thing i made today where what people wanted me to make, where what people requested. And I was like, I'll make three major foods and put it only one video. And I'm glad we're able to get this done. Anyway, obviously, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification. I mean, subscribe. We're close to 100,000 subscribers. So subscribe right now, okay? Like, ASAP. I love you, besties, so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, besties.